Okay, so I've been saying I'm going to do this video for a while. Um, this is an inventory of all my Hitman 2 stuff that I'm leaving behind going to Hitman 3. Um, so, online level 658, that's part of, of or one of the most gutting things. Um, but this is really just about the inventory and elusive targets. So, oh shoot. So really, I didn't get them all, but I got enough of them where it's frustrating enough that I... Uh, there's just no record of this now in Hitman 3. Um, you know, missed the fixer. That guy was a bit of a chore to begin with. I just flat out don't think I did the chef. Oh, wait. Maybe I did. And then other than that, um, got everybody else. I don't really feel like that's that's super interesting to anybody, so I'll just get right into the uh, inventory. Yeah, I'll do mastery real quick just to show. Um, hey man, just 28 of everything. Um, mastery's not super difficult, of course. It's just a matter of time going through things. And then um, here we go, inventory. I'll start with suits, because that's the interesting stuff. Um, all of the map-specific ones just have gloves, so Paris, uh, Sapienza, etc. There's the Colorado one. And just a lot of suits. This one is the biggest heartbreaker. Um, the challenge is Silent Assassin suit only in the Hitman 2016 maps and uh, on, on I think Master Difficulty, yeah Master Difficulty and the new challenge in Hitman 3 is Silent Assassin suit only on 17 different maps so theoretically you could say oh well you, you can do them on casual I don't know the ins and outs of it but fact is like I have it and I have to leave it behind and then just um, you know, everything else. 41 total suits that I'm leaving behind. Um, a lot of them are, are kind of given with uh, DLCs or whatever. But anyways, that's the list. Just kind of forward them backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Probably will never see a list this populated again. I mean, I, I'll try to get them, obviously, in Hitman 3, but, you know, just whatever. Um, on to gear. Um, I do have, I think, all of the containers. Yes, I have all of the containers. I can conclusively say that there are two items that I do not have. There's the Phantom Suit that you get from doing 100 Ghost Mode contracts and not getting spotted. And then there's one or two Sniper Rifles in the Sniper Assassin game mode. I really enjoy that game mode, it's just the majority of my time has been spent in the actual maps and not in the Sniper Assassin, so I'm leaving, uh, or I never unlock those. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go through all of this stuff, but like things of note, there's uh, the black leather briefcase, that's a Silent Assassin suit only one. The toolbox is for contracts, I think I did 50 contracts to get that. Um, other than that, nothing super extravagant there. Um, gold bar classic lockpick that was a silent assassin suit only one electrocution phone is not getting brought forward to hitman 3 um, that item's just a cheat code it's you know a lot of a lot of um, a lot of elusive targets were victim of the electrocution phone that's for sure titanium crowbar was nice but I have that in um, in hitman 3 now Handyman Wrench, that was another contract unlock. I really enjoyed um, having that as a starting item. Um, I will try to get that relatively quickly in Hitman 3. Um, gold Coin, that's a frustrating one because it was a kind of a garbage challenge in the Bangkok map. Um, Classic Coin, that was the other Silent Assassin suit only unlock. I hit bumper there, sorry. And then on to poisons, all the syringes, all the pills, um, all the vials, just a lot 
of quality of life stuff there. I wish they ordered these a little bit better, but what do you do? And then on to explosives. Um, explosive pen, that was a... You only had two shots to get that. That was when the, um, the Sean Bean elusive target came around. Yeah, so nothing, nothing I can't get back here, so that's fine. And then finally weapons, um, that was, El Matador was a contract one. Rude Ruby was somewhere in Whittleton Creek, I think, that was a challenge unlock. Um, didn't really use the, the Tranquilizer or the Emetic gun very much, uh, used the Krugermeyer a ton because it was a, it was the quietest uh, pistol you could get, I think. But overall, um, you know, they gave us three new guns in Hitman 3, so I'm not really left wanting for any pistols. SMGs, I never even touch these. Shotguns, same thing. I don't really touch them. Assault rifles, same. You know, they're nice unlocks, of course, but I don't really mess with... Um, with weapons too, too, too much in the when I'm playing through, um, other than sniper rifles and pistols. So the biggest sniper rifle that, or the sniper rifle that I, I use the most is the uh, Seeker 300 Advanced. Um, there's not much difference between the Advanced and the Ghost. The Advanced plays Ave Maria when you aim down sights. The Ghost has an additional zoom, I think. Um, but anything that's that's a silent sniper rifle is, is with the the time slowdown, that's all you really want. And then melee, there's some pretty cool stuff here. The claw hammer. Um, there's a couple different uh, fiber wire type items, your headphones. Uh, measuring tape, yeah. Shuriken was a, was a nice item to have, but really ultimately, once you have one of them, um, it's really just building your inventory after that. There's no additional functionality between, like, say, a combat knife and uh, the screwdriver, right? So, um, yeah, this is really just the list. And as far as challenges go, um, this is probably where I'll, I'll, I'll... I'm not sure how much time I'll dwell on this, but... Um, you know, I put a lot of effort into completing all challenges as best I could. So, um, you know, leaving behind 111 out of 111 on the finish line. Sapienza has a pile, so you're going to see that number come up here soon. 39 to 39. So I'm three shy on Columbia. Um, you know, four shy in Mumbai. Illusions of Grandeur. I don't even know if I did the mission. Um, but I do, I will have that in Hitman 3. Um, didn't do Bitter Pill Mission. And you can see here, I'm starting to trail off a little bit on the later maps. Uh, Arc Society, um, Last Resort, and then these three are your Sniper Assassins. Now getting into the Hitman 1 maps, this is where you're going to see all the 100%. So all of them in, Ch in Paris, all of them in Sapienza. Um, including all three submissions in Sapienza, which is like, that's, you know, obviously a bit of a, a chore to have to go back and do those, if I do go back and do those. Um, back in Marrakesh, uh, 90 and 40. Bangkok, which is a map that I'm not super excited to have to go back and redo. I, it is my least favorite in Hitman 1. But, whatever. Colorado. Um, I Colorado is where I kind of really cut my teeth on Hitman 1. Um, I just, for whatever reason, I really latched onto that map, and that's the one, it's the first map that I spent time in, and really realized that unlocking Silent Assassin suit only was not a matter of talent, it was a matter of time. Um, and once I did that, it just opened up so much more in the Hitman games in general. I, I huge soft spot for Colorado. And then Hokkaido, um, if I'm honest, didn't enjoy the Patient Zero map um, in Hokkaido. 
just I thought it was just a bit a bit it almost felt like they put in challenges just for the sake of making something challenging as opposed to making something fun um, but again that's that's just an opinion not a huge deal um, and that's more or less the full summary I, when I look at the the number of challenges here I don't know if it's apparent what I mean there but if I go into one of them like um, I'll go into Sapienza and just look at the challenges here but what it means is like all of these things so you know assassinate assassinate silvio with the solar system well it, it's it's a small challenge but you do have to go in and do it and when there's 29 of these things that's a significant amount of time um different categories assassination discovery feats uh those are the three main ones and then the classics obviously um your silent assassins your no evidence sniper assassins all of that um your challenge packs are a whole other thing. Like, they fall under the challenges category. And sure, each challenge pack you can probably knock out in an hour, two hours. But that's an hour or two hours that I've already spent, so I'm a little bit bitter about, obviously. Um, discovery stuff is usually not super, super difficult to get into. Although there are ones that jump out and are a bit... Um, either frustrating or tedious tedious is probably the better word but really it's the uh, assassination ones that are just going to take so long to go back and redo um but yeah that's it i hope i hope i got everything i'd hate to have to do another one of these um just because i missed something but uh yeah hopefully that gives perspective on i guess my career this is really a, a selfish selfish video as opposed to something for anybody else but um but yeah i i think that's that um that puts to bed my hitman one hitman two on xbox and um yeah i guess onward with hitman three so yeah